was a dream that was real. It shall be realized. These are the wishes of Marcus Aurelius. No, you can do it. This guy changed his mind and he's going back now. Nice. Yeah, definitely. The rebellions are annoying as hell. I mean, look at this. Hey, Benos. We took out the Batanians out of their own territory. My city over here rebelled and they took it for 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 their self from for themselves, yeah. Yeah, let's leave them there. Like they're doing nothing. If they declare war, they're dead. Like the Southern Empire has nothing, and the Northern Empire has nothing, which is the uh, unless they actually like. Oh my God! Anything that revolts is a target for them. Oh shit! That may be an issue. Yeah, I should be merciful on the cities so they don't rebel as easily. You piece of sh Oh yeah. Hide in there. You're go definitely gonna survive. You are pl I'm playing a nice game. Yeah. Good at yeah. I can't I think of the words for that. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. plan on doing like mod reviews and all that but um, there's not that many that are actually featured yet that have a lot of features in them and the ones that do are like kind of old at this point I don't want to try out the Star Wars one I don't think uh, it's available for a campaign though I think I'm actually gonna like need to join all the mod mod discords and follow them a little bit. See what happens. Maybe try and snag like a well, not a review, but a showcase beta version or alpha version of something that's not out yet. Maybe. Oh, no. Ah, shit. It's huge faster, come on. Or knock the walls down faster. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They actually took it back. The AI actually being useful for once. Depends on what you mean, like uh, being good at melee and combat itself does take a, a little bit of getting used to. But the strategy part of it is basically like any other game, strategy game, more or less. You just need to figure out what works or what works for you. I mean, you can watch my playthrough and you you see what works for me. It's gonna work for you, fine. It just depends on uh, are you uh, are you gonna be good at combat. The strategy has no swords. Is it in the? It's on the same page, right? Like in a, like just on like beneath the no, first download. Okay, you know what? Come on, this this destroy the ballista. The ballista, you fools. Okay, I'm gonna assault this now and try and save the castle behind us. So the strategy is Norse Lords. I think that I downloaded that last time. Just changes the name of them, right? To make him more Nordic. Wait, 
that we only have two sets of things. Oh, right, there's only one entrance. <coughs> okay, spread these guys out. Oh, I didn't, uh, you weren't, do you know this city layout? If you destroy the other wall here, you go through and there's like a little passageway, right? Yeah, like right there. Like the whole, huh? can we, can we? Yeah, see that? That's really cool. And it was cool until I like, ra ran into... I like, ran into like five of these uh, these exact city layouts. Oh, and by the way, did you notice that the... Did you notice that the... There's less uh, settlement types. Or city types, I guess you would say. Make generals like me. Uh, I do have a distinct. Uh, the mod is called Distinguished Service. So any one of these guys can get the, like multiple kills or the archers in this instance. And you can, you know, give them stats that you w like for them to have. So it, it makes it a little bit easier. Then you can like, of course, when you have a when you're in a faction or you, when you form a faction, your own kingdom, you can give them land. And they get become clans as you in like other ones. Why shouldn't we have a ladder here somewhere? Oh yes we do. We're not gonna need it though. Wait a minute. I know what we should do. Flanking of maneuvers. I mean, did you notice that there's like less variety in the cities and the castles? Because I think there is. I mean, I definitely remember like the cities being way different from each other. For the most part. Run, you fool. Fuck. Yeah, just ignore me. Oh, oh, come on. I wanted to pick up his two-handed axe. Like, if you mean, uh, like, leading the army, it gets pretty easy, like, later on, because I have a load of... Oh, God. This wasn't what the best of ideas. Never mind. You get loads of influence, so it doesn't like matter at that point. And plus, uh, for party size, this mod actually makes it so you can. Uh... Am I gonna get killed by hammer? This uh, mod makes it so some of the troops can actually like give you party capacity. It makes it a lot easier. Recruiting companions. Ooh, that would be interesting. Do what? Would be funny if, like, they and the distinguished service mod guys actually made it so, uh, made it so they they also like get distinguished service guys in there and make them really OP. That would be fucking funny. face the problem uh, you mean uh, that's the bug report is that what you mean In Balkans is of Yugoslavia or Yugoslavia ex-Yugoslavia that is 
first launch of the game. So that's weird. Uh, did you go like into Steam and uh, right click properties on the game, then uh, verify the files? Lithuania, nice. I'm surprised how many of you guys are, you know, European. Normally the Americans are around this this time of year. Well, this, not this time of year, or this time of day. Then again, that was uh, the Americans were on Twitch. I go into Steam, uh, right click on the game, properties, then verify the files. That's, you know, the first troubleshooting thing you do. Maybe did for some reason, didn't download everything. Don't be any problems with the antivirus. I verified the game files at first. Oh, that's weird. Like, you need to collect next to fix this problem. Oh, they like to upload these files. That's a bug report, I guess. If I had to assume, like every game has a bug. Well, most of the multiplayer games have the bug reports you can set out. Or I'm missing, yeah. Maybe like turn off your antivirus software if if you have any. Maybe it like blocks some of the files from getting downloaded. That could also be an issue. Because you know, antivirus is sometimes work, sometimes not. Sometimes they screw you over more than they help you. Do we need food? No, we do not need food, so we're good. Right, I wanted to dump all the prisoners in. Okay, now, hopefully we're gonna catch these guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Go catch him. Catch him. Yeah. Okay, there's no point in fighting this one, so let's uh, just out resolve it. Pops up and the grain crashes. fix that or what's causing it to be honest if you have some mod well you don't pro probably don't have mods on right so can you actually launch the game or does the second uh, YouTube was saying that they didn't get enough data poor data poor actually let me check it by just opening something else yeah I have internet Just opening up the game by its alone some shouldn't like have problems with it like I don't know what would cause a problem at that point or we can just you know go to the tail world's forums
Well, if it doesn't have mods, there probably like there's no conflict there. Shouldn't be any problems or issues with it. Just bought the game installed and it doesn't work. I assume you're on Windows 10, right? Something like that. 11. You're not on any older version of Windows. Uh, and if you did, you did install it, you, did you like did the game? Uh, did Steam install the DirectX and the, all the other stuff it needs? Like when you started up the game, like the first time startup. Ten should be fine. I want Windows Ten as well. Hmm, interesting. The wonders of the PC master race. You install a game and it just doesn't work. Doesn't want to work. Okay, let's see. Bannerlord. Crash. First startup. Crash at first loading screen, crash on start of fix. What's hmm. well, uh, I'm gonna send a video link into the chat. See if you have this file in your modules and languages folder. Hello. It's like there's a like another language installed even though it shouldn't be. There's also like Reddit threads on uh, games not launching on the first stardom. Oh, I'm seeing. Looks. Yeah, you need to remove the Chinese language apparently. And turn off any antivirus software. Reinstall net.framework, visual C, net.core, visual C distribution, distributions as well. Seems these fix the problem for the most for most most people. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I mean. You play Windows, you play games on PC, you have more issues. The more you know about PCs, the more issues you have. Literally. <laughs> okay. Three cities, two castles. What about you? Oh, let's give it to him. I mean, if you just uh, bought and installed the game, it should be working fine. If it's on like literally the first run ever. Shouldn't have any issues.
Wait, like uh, YouTube is giving out me giving me out an error. Uh, not an error, but like uh, we don't have enough stuff, data, and all that. I wish it actually like told me how how much the bit rate is on it. Siege this. Uh, it would be fun if they actually attacked me here. I don't think they have enough armies. Yeah, check the two links I sent in chat. Maybe one of those fixes is gonna help. Oh, I wonder where they're going. God damn it. Oh god, we move so slow through the woods. Oh, look at him, he's besieging that by his, by him by him loans his lonesome. Wait a minute, did I take that for myself again? I did. Uh thieves. Okay, gift this too. Let's give it to these guys. Apparently you need to like remove the Chinese language for them get from the game directories. Maybe that's an issue. Declare war on the Batanii. Hmm. Yeah, sure. We're gonna go take out their last settlement. Literally just let someone leave. Apparently I did. Okay, you know what? Ooh, look, look at them. B biscuit, Bitticus. The, yeah, biscuit is it? Yeah, I think it's a biscuit. Bitticus, the biscuit cl from the biscuit clan. Look at that. They're actually gonna besiege this on their own, apparently. Uh, yeah, look at this. Look at the fucking army on this guy. 400. Jesus Christ. I think Biscuit has an army of 400 as well or something like that. Look at that. 400. Yeah, I'm gonna disband these guys. Grow through the Empire territory a little bit. Grab a couple of troops. Then we're gonna knock out the Batanii. But the, the Batani. The AI actually doing something. Always nice to see. Okay, let's uh, give our guys some troops there. now is what's the first thing they're gonna besiege so we can knock out their army possibly so I did lose I fell I fell below 500 troops again that's nice grab all of these yeah they only have this left and how big is their army and it's an offensive war as well. Wait a minute, not them. Oh, your hmm. your specs are way below the minimum, I think. Yeah, w way below the minimum. Plus, it's a, a laptop as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, GT3030. That's pretty freaking old at this point, man. Sadly, there's no work around that. You need a better PC. Lap or laptop, I guess. Doesn't take much to run the game, though. Oh, oh, the model load. Party capacity increased? Yes, nice. Okay, let's call these guys in. And who's the closest? Okay, call him in. Okay, I'm gonna click to go over there and I'm gonna take a piss real quick. That's how confident I am that I'm not gonna get killed off by something. For the sub man, no one wants to attack me. Of look at them running all around here. But yeah, your laptop is just too old at this point. I mean, if you haven't played Warband, I would suggest you play that. It's still pretty fun. I mean, I, I might actually like play play through it again. Uh, or I could actually try Nvidia Shield. It's a streaming. Uh, cloud gaming service you could basically play any game you have on their servers on their gpus is this guy actually slower than us nope never mind use nvidia shield to play the game it might work i'm not quite sure because uh, it literally uses a you know one of the servers from their you know databases and all that to play your game so it might work with that. And you can connect Steam to them and just play any game you have. No issues. I like how I'm the only one besieging this and they still don't have enough to attack me. <laughs> I didn't see you in a while. Yeah, let's give it to this guy. Where are that three? Th where is that thirteen hundred troops army? Uh, troop army. I want them to face me. Look at that three hundred troops from one guy. Jesus Christ. Increase your ch charge damage. Really? Increase charge damage taken by 50%. I don't think that's uh, useful. You don't take that much charge damage. Increase speed damage as well. I'm, I'm not fed that much, but oh well. Yeah, the, the last stand of the Batanii. Well last stand in the settlement before becoming nomads, that is. Yeah, 
Yeah, no problems, man. Not everyone can know English. You can try out Warband or... Wait a minute, let me give you a link to Nvidia Shield. You can try that out because I think it's still free. From what I remember. Maybe play the game like that. Might work. Wait, not Shield TV. Uh... No, it's not NVIDIA Shield. What what the hell is it called? Uh, let me see. NVIDIA Cloud Gaming. Wait a minute. That's GeForce now, is that it? This PC. Uh, I'm confused. Well, it seems you can actually like play from a browser apparently. Yeah, check out Nvidia Shield, see if you can play download through the browser or something. I think that that might work. I mean it would be odd, but it might work. I mean you know, it's better than not playing the game at all. See how good is the last thing gonna be? Only one hour for free? Well, I mean, one hour is one hour. One hour is more than zero hours, right? Now this looks like we're in a desert. I think I remember like install, uh, installing it to play Vermintide at some point, but the the, 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 the like quality is just was just off Move, for whatever reason. Forward. Even though it's supposed to be like on an RT, what not a 1080 Ti or whatever the f base Move, services. Up here like this. Smash the horse's head in something along the way. There's so much dust here, man. There's the other bridge. No, <laughs> there's not much of a place to put them, to be honest. And I don't, uh, if I remember the prices right, it, it's not that ac ac expensive to actually like. Uh, you know, get more hours of playtime on GeForce now. I mean, if you don't have the money to buy a new PC, well, especially now when you don't have the money to buy a new GPU because they're expensive as shit, you can just uh, grab GeForce now until you can, you know, until the prices actually go down to a normal level. Oh, I thought we could. Maybe. Ooh. Let's see if we can jump up there. 
Almost. Okay, the infantry is in place. I have a feeling we can jump up up the city somewhere. Oh, come on. That was close enough. Come on, come on, come on. Jump! Yes, look at that. That's how you assault the city. Never mind, it instantly blocked off. Uh, yep. I think if I jump down there, I'm going to be stuck. That's where the ushers are. Run. Okay, so the idea, the idea now is gonna be to like get the our ushers up here or something like that. Come on, up the wall, up, 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 up. They're still defending the like entrance of whole well. Could you not target me for one second? Yeah, you just stay there. Oh no. Of course I shoot the other guy in the foot. Was that a mess? Yeah, like right now I'm at 45 FPS. <laughs> Emperor is killed. Loyalty is a question of the Nari. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I got a oh, shit. Well, that was to be expected, to be honest. That's all she wrote for the Batani. They're all, well, they, they're all nomads now. There's 60 of them. Where? Oh. Right in the middle. Oh my god, the guys that went through the... Wait, what, what the hell is happening here? I'm confused. I'm confused. Like, uh, the, the peasant in... Uh, was it Stronghold 2? I think it was. The wood chopper or something. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Oh, defending this. Oh, imagine if you can defend. Oh, yeah. Like, plop archers all the way over here so the enemy can't get at them. Then just have a shield wall in front. Oh, this would be so nice to defend. Or like, put your... Oh, I don't want to... Yeah, I'm going to do battle. Uh, custom battle. The defensive sieges at some point. Definitely. have to at this point. Okay, I 
I should always pick up all the troops so we have something to place in the garrison. Show mercy, decline. Recruit all the troops. Okay, there we go. So along the Batanii. Let's we'll see what's left. Yeah, their war exhaustion is a hundred. They're already they're gonna peace out. And the Northmen only have two cities left. That's our next target. Okay, let's disband the army real quick so they can maybe, just maybe catch these guys around here. Probably not though. Three towns and two castles. What about you? Actually, I'm gonna go grab it for myself and gift it to someone. Oh, doc. Let's find it. Look at that, there's no factions against us either. Uh, yeah, this one, gifted to... Let's give it to the Scipios. Yeah, look at that. We get a piece instantly. Nice. We just need to take out these two. And that's it for the Nords. Western Empire is no longer. We just need to deal with the Dacians and that's it. I'm not going to touch the Azerai. They're not modern. It's not fair. <laughs> the tr troops are not up to scrap. Oh that, well, that's that's a good idea if you have the you know the traits that uh, make them easier to recruit the prisoners into your party. You gain double relations with the lord when you aid them. You increase companion limit. I think we're a little bit over our companion limit to be honest. Yeah, twenty five over twenty, of over uh, twenty two. So three over. But that's actually a good idea. You can actually like force an enemy to attack engines just whoop. So many optios, man. Then out of nowhere whip out a like, hundred more troops. And that's actually pretty good. Pretty good idea. Especially with the prisoners you have are like higher tier units as well. Let's make our way up there. These guys are besieging that. Any other armies around? Mm, not really. Let's go up there anyway. Then I'm gonna call them in. I wanna like let them recruit troops a little bit. Look at that. This guy can hold 380. Jesus Christ. know why our shields are black in this since I did change the color of the banner Nordic factions is over uh, well I guess I would have to like take out the Scythians as well um, 
But that's gonna be boring a little bit. Because I don't think they can amass a force big enough to attack me. He says as he has a thousand troops on the field going around him all the time. Or more. So it's just gonna be siege battles. What's with these fucking... This is actually... Look at that. They actually had some pretty good troops on them. You make them uh, join you. And then you just don't pick them up. Way easier than fighting them, to be honest. N no, I didn't actually download banner paste. I will, I will actually use it for... Uh, yeah, I need to save the name of the mod because I'm going to forget again. I'm going to change the banner for the Vikingish playthrough or the Northman. And I think I actually have the banner somewhere here saved. Maybe. Yeah, I do. Banner paste. I guess I can show you the image. Browse. Oh God. Open. Oh, never mind. I can't show you because uh, they are like uh, the the file type for uh, Warband that you need to like place in the game files to actually be able to use it. Unfortunately, you call them in. 1400 troops on him. We should be able to take care. He should be able to. Who, who the fuck? Who the, who the fuck are you? Clothing faction? What? Did he like go on his own or something? There, there's no way I can catch him. I was thinking about grabbing the game, uh, banner paste so we can actually make the color the you know the same color as SPQR in Total War, of course. Do we want to help them? No, as soon as they can take it out themselves. Ooh. Well, might, we might actually get a fight with them here. Since I'm outnumbered here pretty good. Let's see. Come on. Come on, there's more than 500 of you. Uh, never mind, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna take it for myself and give it to someone else. The beer? The Siberia. The beer, same thing. Let's gift it to whoever has the least.
my god, that, that guy. Join the army for fuck's sake, or you're gonna get wrecked. You know what, at this point it would be actually pretty cool if uh, we could like force all of them into the city. So we have a like grand siege battle with tons of enemies in there. Is it me, Sammy, or do, do, does the game like spawn you like right next to the enemy? Now uh, these days, they look, 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 we're right next to each other, basically. Sometimes, I don't know, like, whenever I fought, like, a, a decent amount of enemies, the game apparently just decided to, like, plop us right next to each other, for some reason. Which is, you know, like, look at, look at this. 500 versus 200 and we're like right next to each other. him like in, in like a d -d 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 last string on his clothes and it still killed him that's nice I'm not quite sure how we are supposed to aim without the radical to be honest <laughs> or just like kiss him in the ass and throw the pillow at him that seems to work. And I got that guy in the toe. So much for them. Okay, now the question is gonna be are they gonna attack us or are we gonna force all of them in? Well, I think. If all of them like leave the city, they're still gonna amass enough troops to actually fight us. I do wanna like get to one last battle in though. Like a big battle in. Where the fuck is that other guy now? Oh my god, he's gonna he's gonna get screwed. He's wait a minute. I'm not actually waiting for him. But we do need to help. Yeah, look at that. He got swarmed. This is not even worth fighting, to be honest. Get the horses and the food. Hopefully these guys are kind of, yeah, they're kind of close. Okay, how about you join, wait a minute. Yeah, you join me so you don't get wrecked 
again. Okay, now for the siege. Oh, come on, push them all in. Push them all in. Go run, go run to your, into your city. Come on, come on. Yeah, look at that. Almost a thousand defenders. It's gonna be a big one. And we, right, we can't call in anyone else while we're besieging something, which is beyond me. Why? That's the thing. Okay, let's let's go with this. So we have a. Uh, So eighteen. Wait, was it eighteen? I can't. I can't remember. How many pilum do you get with all the buffs, the throwing weapons? Okay, let's. Uh, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna need the uh, four chibushes for this. And then uh, I'm not actually sure if we're gonna be able to like. It's gonna take a while since they have nine hundred people in the settlement. They're gonna build pretty quick. As well, so this this siege might take a while. Might actually manage to starve them a little bit. As well, yeah, probably they only have four days of food. That the city they rebelled. Who would have guessed? Another one that is. Come on, bring down the walls. So I don't have to deal with tail worlds not being able to like make a simple path pathfinding. For the troops to go up the ladders. Then again, we can't complain. There should be like there should be. Uh... Ugh, how the f who the fuck are you? It's a wait what? It's a rebel faction apparently who can just declare war on whoever they wish apparently. And we can do nothing about it because we can't actually catch him. With the battle size mod, I had to fight with the, the Kuzites. I want a horse. Oh. Good G5 500 horse archers, god damn. Let's actually starve them out a little bit and I guess uh, make catapults in the meantime. 